morning everyone this is Carl Left Rose recording from Bedford Pennsylvania and uh, I'm gonna be doing my uh, final NFL uh, season NFL season uh, playoff video last one of the year until next year and we're gonna get into my playoff predictions right after this Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on Friday, January 5th, uh, 2018. And before I get into the uh, NFL uh, playoff uh, predictions, I want to say a couple of things. First of all, about the weather. Um, I have these gloves on because I've got Raynaud's disease, and um, I'm wearing four pairs of socks. and these are double gloves. Uh, these cutouts, um, uh, two pairs of gloves when I'm wearing these cutouts. Uh, if I don't do that, um, I, the, my poor circulation uh, will cause a uh, uh, possible blood clot or possible heart attack and stroke. So uh, anyway, because the uh, temperature right now as I'm recording this, it's like four degrees outside with a negative, with a wind chill of a negative 25 degrees. I will go and get my mail, but I'm today. But uh, that's only going to take me about less than 30 seconds to get in and out. Uh, anyway, with that out of the way, um, plus I got some other nonsense going on around here. Um, anyway, let me get on to it. Um, oh, I want to say something about the lions. Okay, uh, I'm kind of uh, so so on them firing Caldwell. Um, I've been a harsh critic of Caldwell, but the, the problem, the biggest problem I have with the Lions firing Caldwell um, is the fact that playing musical coaches um, is not good. I mean, uh, a team, a franchise needs to develop uh, a sense of stability. Uh, that was one thing that Caldwell did. He was, but he he was unable to get the Lions over the, the next top. So I can understand what Bob Quinn is saying. So all I got to say about this is, let's just hope that Bob Quinn is is doing this right. Um, now, from a NFL, since the NFL is is obviously rigged against the Lions and the eight Lions, I see what what they are doing if they're if they're it looks like they're gonna try and play the uh, uh, good boys you know and see the NFL wants the teams to be like the Patriots so that's part of the reason why the Fords um, took in Bob Quinn so if Bob Quinn starts making the uh, Lions um, more like a Patriots type style team well that'll be a good thing because then they won't get all these rigged calls against them because the referees get paid off they get they paid um, uh, 10,000 bucks uh, per bad call uh, I know this uh, that's how it works um, so they get the, the refs the refs get bonuses for every every bad call they make um, every time so uh, that racks up throughout the years. That that's extra pocket money. That's a lot of pocket money. I mean, they make 250 grand or more a year. These uh, these refs. But then the for each of these calls that they make, you know, tack on 10 grand here, 10 grand there. Yeah, they're gonna. Uh, uh, and so uh, the clients are. But anyway, that's that's it. That the whole NFL is rigged. And it's rigged against the Lions, but I think Bob Quinn is going to end that. But we will wait and see. Um, um, they need to get rid of Jim Bob Cooter. You know, I don't care what the players say; um, he's got to go. Um, I could do offensive calling better than him. Anyway, well, that's it. That's the Lions. We'll see where they go. See what they do in the off season. I will do an off season video. What's up? You know, once we see where they're going as far as uh, who they pick up and who they draft and that sort of thing. Anyway, let me get on with my predictions here. Um, yeah, because I'm already four minutes into this. And anyway, wild card weekend, what, what I have here. Oh, and this is all scripted, this entire, when you hear, 
you know, how this plays out. And I am convinced it's going to go this way because this is all rigged. This is the NFL has the whole season set up. This was all pre-planned, pre-designed, uh, Hollywood scripted playoffs. Um, it's actually going to turn into a good S Super Bowl. Um, I, I hope it does, but it's it's all pre-planned. They've 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 had this uh, planned out from the beginning, so um, uh, and it's all biased based on the the the, the uh, mob mobster crooks in Las Vegas and um, uh, the NFL the the, the league and the the team owners they've all had it set up this they all there's all collusion it's all collusion and they're all guilty of fraud all of them goodell needs to be not only removed as commissioner but he needs to be put behind bars for fraud um anyway let me get back on with the predictions again bills and the jaguars i have the the jags beating the bills uh 28 to 17. Then we have the Kansas City team um, against the Titans. The, 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 yeah, Bills at the, at the Jags. Uh, Jags are going to win. And then we have the Titans going to the Kansas City team. Kansas City winning that one, 24 to 21. Uh, then the other wild cards. I have the uh, the the Falcons, and this one is going to be you know the Falcons at the Rams. This this was rig number one. Uh, the Falcons are going to be the beneficiaries of a lot of bad calls. The game's look, going to look like that the Rams are winning. Trust me, the referees are going to are they're going to be paid off to make bad calls, uh, and the Rams will lose that one. It's going to be 31 to 28, and trust me, it's going to be ugly. The, the Rams will lose, and some, they they will get cheated. I guarantee you that. I know. Uh, then we have the uh, the Saints and the Panthers. Uh, the Saints, uh, or the Panthers at the Saints, I mean. Um, and the Saints are going to take that one, 31 to 21. Uh, now we have the, uh, going into the uh, divisional week. Uh, then we have the Falcons and, and the, at the, that will mean the Falcons at the Eagles. Uh, this is why it's designed. Eagles are going nowhere uh, without, without uh, Wentz in there. They're done. Uh, Falcons are going to beat the Eagles uh, 24 to 14. Uh, then we're going to have the Kansas City team at the Patriots. Well, of course, that's all set up for the Patriots. Uh, it's going to be uh, Patriots 31, the Kansas City team 27. Then we're going to have the, the Jags going to the Steelers. And again, the Steelers are, are the uh, pretty boys of the NFL. Uh, Steelers win that one 17 to 14. Then uh, Sorry, JP of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, your Saints are going to go down in flames uh, to the Vikings. It'll be a good game, but the Vikings are going to win that one, uh, 17 to 10. And it's because it's all scripted because of the Minnesota's new stadium. They want the Vikings in the Super Bowl. That's just how it's done. That's just the way the way it works. Vikings win that one. Then we go to the championship round, and. Um, I think there's some animosity going on with some people with the Patriots. So the Patriots are gonna are gonna go down. Um, it's gonna be the Steelers and the Patriots, uh, two of their good uh, good old boy teams. So uh, they're gonna uh, they're gonna kind of spank the uh, the Patriots uh, this year. They're they're not going to the Super Bowl. I we'll have the Steelers uh, winning 24 to 17. Um, and then we have the uh, Falcons at the Vikings, and um, this is what they want. Um, the Vikings are gonna, uh, they're gonna make, they're gonna embarrass the Falcons. It's gonna be 20, the Vikings, Fal uh, yeah, Falcons at the Vikings, and the Vikings are gonna win that one um, 21 to 10. And um, uh, actually the game is gonna be pretty ugly. It's, uh, the, the score is gonna be actually, uh, the game's going to be a lot more lopsided than the score indicates. And then with the with the Super Bowl being in Minnesota, um, actually that's what I see is that coming down to a, a really good. They're going to do this for ratings. Uh, that's why this is, this is what it all comes down to: network ratings. Um, we're going to have the Vikings um, and the Steelers, and the Vikings are going to win that one because it's their brand new stadium. This is what they wanted from day one of the season. Uh, the Vikings. Uh, 
I will actually probably watch that. If, if it comes down to the Vikings and Steelers, um, I will probably watch it. I have that the Vikings um, winning at 21 to 14 and probably one of the better Super Bowls. Um, anyway, that's it. That's my thoughts on this the rigged NFL and how it's done. Um, well, well, as far as my football goes, that's it for this year. And then um, I'll start doing them again, probably when preseason starts. I'll be doing some uh, predictions on some preseason games. Uh, but until then, um, it's been fun. And um, I got some other things to do, so other videos. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm doing a challenge, I'm challenging myself. So you're going to be some, seeing some regular uploads, but uh, not anything on football just other stuff. Anyway, that's it. See you next time.